Hey everyone, here is Mark and Joey. We've uh, arrived at Woodbine Racetrack in Toronto. Uh, this is our home thoroughbred racetrack. As most of you know, in the summer we live near Toronto, and um, and so attending at Woodbine is one of our favorite things to do. You're going to get a great view here. This is the entrance. You can see a beautiful entrance here. Also mentions the casino, one of the biggest casinos around. But just beautiful grounds, as you see here. Uh, this is used mostly for stake races. The horses will walk around and be with the owners and the jockeys and get up close and, and see them. But uh, you can't find a, a better spot than this. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you can see how big the facility is off the left is parking. One of the main things, you see a lot of cranes in the background. Uh, that is the new hotel casino being built. Not sure when they're going to be done with that, but it's going to make Woodbine a destination uh, to come to, to stay at. Uh, it's near the airport, probably no more than 10, 15 minutes from the airport. It's going to be fantastic, and uh, you'll be able to come. Uh, I'm not sure how many years, as I mentioned, but uh, be able to come uh, stay, casino, horse racing, all there for you in one location. It's going to be fantastic, and, um, and you're truly going to enjoy it. You're going to be north of Toronto, uh, but they do have a shuttle to get you downtown. Uh, into Toronto. Here you're seeing a bit of the parking. Uh, you can see how big the facility is. Um, it just is enormous how many fans. I think it's like 40,000 fans that can uh, that can attend. And speaking of that, as we entered the um, as we entered the racetrack, we found the uh, Hall of Fame, which is awesome. And you can see all the pictures in the background. You can see uh, the setup for all of the Hall of Fame members. It's just a fantastic place to go. Here's the the jockeys and pictures of the horses. A uh, wonderful uh, place to attend when you get to Woodbine. Now, here we're uh, sitting in a restaurant. Um, unfortunately, the camera's moving a little bit still there. I did, probably didn't have very good uh, internet connection. But you can see that we're in a restaurant uh, right on the uh, window. Uh, very nice place to go. It's where Joey and I usually sit. Uh, you can order off a menu here and uh, get a first, uh, you know, a great seat. Come early enough. You can see we were there early enough and um, not many fans there yet. But uh, to get our place, we got there, got a, a spot right on the window. You can bet on your computer. We don't even get up and go to, uh, uh, you know, to the mutuals. We bet right on our laptops now, and we're able to do that right from the restaurant. So a lot of fun there, and, uh, and recommend that you look out for all the restaurants. There's several of them within Woodbine when you arrive. And uh, we decided also to take a little walk to the rail. And here we are watching the start of a race or the end of a race, sorry, coming around the last turn here, coming to the finish line. You can see how exciting this is, uh, right up close with the horses and uh, a beautiful spot to stand. And we will uh, also like to go to some uh, production work. Uh, we're doing most of this off our phones, as you guys know, uh, but there are people that will be able to get uh, some great video. We always like to show that as part of the racetrack. Uh, the one we have here is from Toronto Tourism. Uh, it's a blog um, that is done and uh, the woman who does it is uh, is very upbeat, knows a little bit about the sport, um, certainly uh, enough to uh, talk about it in this video, getting up close and personal with the gate and all those kinds of things. So I hope you enjoy this part. Uh, remember that Joey and I are also doing a podcast on horse racing and we get into way more detail on betting. Hope you guys like horses because you're about to see a whole lot of those. We're at the Woodbine Racetrack tonight for an evening full of horse races, food, and maybe even some betting too. the very first horse race of the night. I've been practicing my screaming and my cheering, so I'm ready to go. But the one thing that took me off guard is how large this racetrack is. It's literally massive. I spent five minutes just being like, oh my gosh, I feel tired just looking at it. But the good thing is, I don't have to race. I get to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Whole crew's out here. We got a sweet ride. We're on a golf cart right now. So we're heading over to the starting gate. Wind is in the air, ready for the next race. <laughs> this is the starting gate. So before the race actually starts, they bring the horses here and line them up one by one. And each gate has its own magnetic locking system to keep the horses in place. And then there's a very special somebody who has a job of hitting that release button. The gates open and the horses are ready to go. 
big part of the experience here at the racetrack is obviously betting, and it's actually not as difficult as you might think. So you have two different options. You can either go to a teller or to a self-serving kiosk. But before you even place a bet, this is really important. You want to give this a full read-through. So this is the program. It has the full schedules of the races. It has stats about the horses. So that way you're able to make an educated decision. Now when it comes to the amount of money that you can bet, it could be as low as 20 cents or as much as you want. There's no limit, but fingers crossed you get lucky.